Hello, did you hear what Sarah did last week? Did you hear what Bill did? No, you can't believe what those boys did on the bus last week. You can't believe it. No, you can't. Well, you see, welcome to the pastor's corner. Did you hear that the Lord has some instruction about what you hear and what you say? In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 13, hear these words from the word of God. It says, he who goes about as a talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy conceals a matter. You see, a talebearer goes around telling other people's business. They go around sharing secrets of other people's hearts. They are going about not for the joy or the help of of reconciliation and grace they're just enjoying the story and and they feel that they have some juicy gossip to share or or, or something about what's happened to them and they want to get other people on their side and it's kind of uh, going one side versus another but notice this uh, there's a contrast here but he who is trustworthy conceals a matter he who is trustworthy knows how to put out the flames. He who is trustworthy needs, knows that there's probably two sides to the story. There's one side from one perspective and there's another side to another's perspective. And especially as a parent, you begin to learn um, to find out both sides of the story before you start making judgments, before you start uh, dishing out punishments. And if you're a fool, sometimes you dish out punishment because you hear one side of the story. And then you find out later that, oh my goodness, I punished the, the, the most innocent out of the two. Um, it takes two to fight. I, it always has and always will. Um, and the scripture says in Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, it says, Brethren, if anyone is caught in a trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of gentleness each one looking to yourself so that you will not be tempted. Then it says this, bear one another's burdens and therefore fulfill the law of Christ. You see, a trustworthy person conceals a matter. In other words, he conceals it because he's carrying the other person's burden. He's praying, he's standing in the gap, or she's standing in the gap. You see, there is a time to confront sin. And in Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 through 18 says this, if your brother or sister sins, go and show him his faults in private. If he listens to you, you've won a brother. You see, that's the purpose. You know, when, when there's issues and the issue is with you, not with somebody else, the issue is with you, you go privately. You don't go tell your best friend. You don't go tell your mom or your dad and you go tell everybody else. Uh, no, the scripture says the very first thing you do when somebody sins against you or hurts you or you go to them one-on-one -on -one in private. And then if they don't listen to you, if they don't repent, if they don't uh, make things right, then it says you bring one or two. It doesn't say that you tell the whole world. You, you don't put it on, post it on Facebook. You don't uh, put it on Instagram or wherever. No, no. The scripture says you do this in private. You see, the tail bearer is doing it in public. Uh, the scripture says... If you're trustworthy, if you're a person that follows Jesus, you can seal a matter and you deal with it one on one. And then if, if you can't do it that way, you bring uh, two or three with you, one or two more. And then uh, if that doesn't work, then you bring it to the whole church um, if, it's a, if it's appropriate. And notice this, the Lord gives us power to bind things. In verse 18, it says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be. You see, we go all the way back. To, if you're a tail bearer, you're loosing a whole lot of things and, and causing uh, issues and problems. But if you're trustworthy, you have found a way to bring healing. And in the church, it's important. There, there are people who feel like they've been talked about at church. They've been judged at church. Um, and this tail bearing thing is is quite serious um there are people who have a lot of shame and a lot of hurt and they shared it with somebody and then somebody shares it with everybody maybe in a prayer meeting maybe someplace else and 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 the story got out and it wasn't your story to tell and and there are some that are backsliding because of the tail bearers and those who share things out out of turn you see, the scripture says if you're trustworthy, 
you'll know when to conceal and when to move. So today, I pray that we would not be tail bearers, but that we'd be trustworthy. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you again for, for your word. Even back in Proverbs, you're saying, hey, deal with things privately. Deal with things uh, one-on-one. Uh, before you open up your mouth to others, before you go and get people on your side. Lord, you want us to be trustworthy. You want us to be men and women of integrity. So, Lord, today, may when we hear tales, may we not repeat them. And, Lord, help us to be an instrument of your healing, not only in our families, in our homes, and in our churches, but in our communities as well. In Christ's name, amen. You have a good day. May the Lord bless.